Hi, Jan here again. It's the uh, the beginning of August and um, I've got a massive haul to show you from the last weekend in July 22. Um, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new and if you're not you've not been here before. I'm I'm a a hobby reseller on eBay. Um, I wouldn't go so far as to say that it's how I make my living because I I don't. Um, I I don't have enough time to dedicate to the actual selling of it but amazingly I seem to find enough time to pick up stuff at boot sale so that's a problem definitely needs addressing. Uh, today I've got two boot sales, Faygate which was Saturday and Shoreham Flyover which was Sunday and two Facebook marketplace pickups. I'll start off with uh, the last of the pickups and that's uh, for this rather lovely vegetable type teapot. This one is by Wittards of Chelsea. I've noticed that be before when I hold things up to the camera I'm not steady enough and I don't hold them long enough for you to see. I've noticed that. Um, it's, I've had it in soak and it's dripping out all over me. Um, this one was beautifully clean um, as in the china part of it but the the filter needed a bit of work and I've done the best that I can but it's impossible to get those stains tea stains completely out of the plastic filters. I can do it with the metal ones but clearly not with the plastic unless you know a way of doing it. I've tried bicarbonate of soda, bicarb with white vinegar and I've had it soaking in Milton overnight but still not 100% there. Anyway that's a Wittards of Chelsea vegetable teapot. It's got cauliflower and asparagus and onions and aubergine and carrots, all manner of things. It's rather lovely for anybody who likes gardening or vegetables or whatever. And I paid £2 for that one. Um, back at the boot sale, um, there was, if you saw my video from a couple of months ago, I bought Neil some shirts, but the ones that I got him tended to be long sleeved and then we went into that very hot period. So I, went, I was on the lookout for some shorter sleeve ones for him and the very first store that I came across had a load of short sleeved nice shirts in his size and I thought mental note I'll tell him about that and it wasn't until I was back at the car ready to go home and he caught up with me that I said go and have a look at that rail over there and depending on price if there's anything that you like then we'll get you some. Well, he came back and he said, well, they're a pound each, but can you help? Because I don't know what size I am. <laughs> so we went back. Luckily, they were all pretty much his size. And we got him um, this one, which is uh, Burton's. And paid a pound each for all of these. This one next. another Burton's. Rather love this but then I would because uh, purple being my my colour as it were. Then this one is a uh, H&M. But I was literally just going through a rail saying do you like that, do you like that, do you like that and picking out the the nicest ones that I could find. That one's the next. Lovely. I've got a real thing about blue and white stripe. I love them. I think it lo looks so smart. So blue and white stripe next. Um, this one is new look. And then um, next. Next again, that's a, uh, and then uh, another next, and finally another next. So that's ten shirts there for ten pounds, which will keep him going for forever. 
Right, now I've got a problem with where do I put them while I'm filming this. Right, I'll just lay them over there. Then in terms of, um, not in terms of, going back to um, marketplace pickups, I saw an advert for um, a tea set. But I noticed that this was part of it. And I thought, well, that to me looks exactly like Denby Manor Green. And indeed it is. So I thought if the whole set is all Denby, then that's got to be worth picking up. So that, that was the coffee pot. That's actually a two pint coffee pot, which is slightly bigger than most of the ones that you see like this on eBay. There was a large oval plate a round plate the Denby is actually it is on there but it's very very faint it's obviously had many years worth of washing up and the manor green I know they started making in the 1930s so I've got no idea how you actually age it there's a little mustard pot there very very shallow so it's I would think it's got to be for mustard although Neil thinks it's for caviar but I've never been anywhere where they serve caviar so I don't know if they would serve it in in a shallow little pot like that it really is very very shallow it's only about a centimeter deep there was an egg cup a single egg cup but I've already got two of these so now I've got a set of three that can go together a lone pepper pot seems to have lost the salt and I've got I've got no idea if that's the right stopper or not it's got a stopper but like I say whether it's the right one or not or whether it's just something that they've wedged in there I have no idea so that's the uh, running out of places to put things here while I go through the rest of the Denby there was um, these four I don't know nibbles dishes would you call those I'm not sure what you call them three of them are in lovely condition and the fourth one I doubt if you'll be able to see it but has quite a lot of crazing on the inside but they're not cracked or chipped so they should be okay like that then there's 12 cup and saucers. Well, it's actually 13 saucers and 12 cups. And a cup and saucer like that um, are selling at the moment on eBay for about £5 for the cup and saucer. So, nice lot of little cup and saucers there. Now I'm reminding myself to keep an eye on time so that I can, I know when this is about, because I only get 28 minutes filming on my camera. But the problem with saying that is, I can see the time but I can't read it without my glasses and my glasses are elsewhere so if this runs out suddenly there will be a part two and I'll just continue as normal and one day I will actually get round to learning how to edit so that I can join the two together so that was the the Denby then the same lady I don't know how much of this you can actually see uh, yeah you should be able to see most of it there was also three white IKEA teapots it had actually been a cafe or a coffee shop that um, had closed these are six 
six cup teapots and they weigh a ton I don't know if I'd be able to pour the tea out if it was me and it had all the uh, all the tea in there but there's three of those one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve of the London Pottery Farmhouse Filter teapots. Got three, well, three this size in the teal, a fourth one like this but without the lid, and then a fifth one in the size down this would be again the six size I think the other one is the four cup size and then three the same but in the traditional brown I don't know if the camera will pick up that at all might be lucky yeah farmhouse teapot by London by London pottery And ironically, this had all come at a time when I had decided not to get any more teapots until I'd sold through some of the ones that I had. But literally, the minute that I started thinking like that, went through Marketplace and then this bumper crop turned up at a price that I couldn't turn down, so hence all of these. Um, also, there's, um, again, London Pottery. This is the Globe. Two in the teal, one in the navy, there's a random unmarked brown, and then there's another brown and again, unmarked, that's a kind of black brown colour. Oh, it's starting to hurt, hold my, hurt my shoulder holding all this up for you, but it's the only way to show it to you. I have tried before where um, Neil actually held the camera and was trying to zoom in and film what I was showing, but we decided in the end it's much better to use a, a still camera on a tripod. This one is, um, it's got a very faint um, impression on the bottom that looks to me like a P&K, so I would assume that that's a Price and Kensington. In a lovely, um, what colour blue would you call that? Um, I don't know, which would you call the royal blue out of those two? I would have called that a royal blue. Meaning I don't know what I'd call that. But anyway, that's about a four cup pot there. And then finally from this load, there's a, a definite price in Kensington. Okay, you should be able to see that hopefully. And that's a little two cup teapot. Now, last week I spent ages photographing the teapots that I've already got. But I'm, I've got several Price and Kensington where I've got different sizes of the same colour. And when it came back, because I always do all my photographs first and then go back and do the listing later. But going back to the photo, I couldn't tell whether it was which size it was. And I like to make sure that the photo that I've taken is the exact item. So I'm going to have, I've had to completely rethink how I'm doing things. And I'm going to have to actually have a card in the photo with my stock number on it. So, and then a label on the teapot itself. So I know exactly which pot is which. So that when they sell, we know which one's which. As I've just said, I'm repeating myself. Sorry bit tired this morning and uh, my brain must have gone 
Right, also from the boot sale, I found this lovely Marks and Spencer's um, bath mat. That was 50p. Can't go wrong at that price. Tea Towel Man was there again. I've actually bought, because he does six tea towels for a pound, and I've got a lot of projects that I want to use them for. I thought I might even start making tea cosies so it will they will be sold as a teapot and a tea cosy. And um, the lady that had all these has also got all the tea strainers. So I said, well, I'll take those as well, but I've got to go back and pick them up. So it can be a teapot, a tea strainer and a tea cosy. So if you buy it, then you're ready to go. All you need is your tea leaves and you're ready to brew. So I was thinking of um, using the tea towels as the inside fabric and I've got some, I wanted to make some covers for my um, food processor and food mixer in the kitchen and, and various other projects that I need them for and I was worried that A, boot sale se season is coming to an end and B, that he's running out of stock because every week he's got less and less and less so I thought right I will get 10 packs and then I've got plenty for everything that I that I would ever want to do with them so I picked up 10 packs of the uh, six for a pound tea towels I also got um, don't know if I could move the I don't know if you can see that this this basket is actually um, a bike basket it's got the moving handle and it's got hooks on it to hook onto the handlebars and I thought I might with a little bit of adaptation be able to hook that onto the front of my walker so I can have a basket on the seat and then double the space that I've got to to carry things around so that would be very very useful for me and that one um, I paid £4 for so I was very very pleased with that they retail at about £30 on Amazon and then what you can see just behind just here is a blackboard easel it's about four foot tall brand new still in the box and with a brand new pack of the um, chalk pens I don't know what you call them um, dry white pens whatever they are the ones that you can use on on the easel and I saw that asked the lady how much she wanted and she said £10 and that it was brand new and she'd still got the box for it and I know that a year or two back I've been looking desperately for one of them and so I thought going along with the idea that I'm not going to leave things that I want at boot sales anymore from now on I'm going to buy them and then decide if I get them home and decide that I shouldn't have bought that then I can just resell it so I got that, that was uh, £10, but if I did decide to resell it, they're about £60 new, so I should be able to get a, a reasonable return on the money there. And what else did we get? I found a uh, Keith Ness. This one is called... Starlight, I think it is. Uh, yeah, Starlight. Like I say, without my glasses on, I can't see much of what I'm showing to you, but I hope that you can see that. It's a, a limited edition run of Caithness. Got that one for £4. I've been after one of these for myself for a long time. It's a salt pig got the little salt still got salt on it and uh, if you've not seen them before you put your salt in and then you can just leave it on the side in the kitchen it should keep all the salt okay in there it shouldn't get damp and cloggy and all the ones that I'd seen up to this one had been terracotta and I can't bear the feel of terracotta so I thought well that's no good for me at all I did see a Le Creuset one but she wanted it's again one of those things she asked £10 for it I thought that's 
too much but I should have bought it because then if I decided it was too much for me I could have sold it on a, at a profit and this is what's made me change the way I'm thinking but anyway found this one 50p that'll do very nicely for me I found a, a Perspex fridge egg holder and it appealed to me because once you've got your eggs in you've actually got a surface on top that something else can go on top of because at the moment once the eggs are in the tray in the fridge that's kind of space all the space above it is gone so I've wanted one of those for a long time but too mean to pay up in the shops for it so I was very pleased when I found that for a pound um, then I won't show you all four of these but I got four of these just says Merry Christmas large mugs and Kath Kidson I think I paid a pound each for those but that's a set of four I also found a Minnie Mouse Minnie Mouse and Mickey Mouse Also Kath Kidson Seem to have had a Kath Kidson weekend Now this one I've seen brand new on Amazon for £40 I can't bring myself to believe that somebody would pay £40 for a Mickey Mouse mug I really can't believe it because the chap who sold it to me sold it to me for 50p so I'm pretty certain he didn't pay the £40 for it so 50p for that one 50p for this one also Kath Kidson still in the Kath Kidson theme um, four little cup and saucers this one was on the very last stall at the Faygate boot sale it was so busy at Faygate this week that uh, the last car was actually outside of the um, the actual selling field and on the edge of the parking field so she was parked almost next to where we were in the disabled spot but I'd spotted um, these the four little cups and saucers with this which is a very pretty Kath Kidson teapot And that was five pounds for the teapot and the cup and saucers. Then Sunday at Shoreham, I found another Kath Kidson teapot. Slightly different design. They're actually one of them is made by Queens um, that's that's this one is made by Queens this one doesn't have a maker on it it just says um, design for I think it says design for Kath Kidson um, designed by Kath Kidson dishwasher safe that's all the information we've got on that one And there's a few more mugs. There is a Disneyland Minnie Mouse. I think I paid 50p for that one. A 
Laura Ashley again 50p and that one I got with this one which is a a Disney Winnie the Pooh but I really love this one it's beautiful colouring absolutely lovely and this is a I think this one is bone china it certainly feels like bone china but certainly a Disney Pooh one and walking um, through the rows at Faygate I saw between several rows a teapot and I just saw it and I thought that colour that has got to be mine this one is a a Price and Kensington still got the sticker on from when I bought it and a bit of random sellotape and the lady said she'd bought it for a tea party for the Queen now I don't think the Queen went to the tea party it's probably one that she had for um, maybe even a street party or something but anyway she bought it and had no no further use for it and I just love the colour so I had to have that one and then lastly if we've got time before the uh, before it all clicks off I treated myself to a girl with sweet baskets and this is Neo Bayadro so this one now becomes part of my collection so I think that's it I can't believe that I made it on time I'm going to have to watch it back and make sure it didn't cut off part way through before I move any of this lot and start putting it all away but no that's all of it but anyway thank you very much for watching if you need a teapot you know where to come <laughs> take care everybody don't forget to like and subscribe and please drop a comment down below it does help to everyone says it helps so it must do <laughs> Okay, take care and have a good week. Lots of love. Bye.